नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते शमला दीदी नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन जी नमस्ते सुनील जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम यस्टरडे वी हैड गणेश जी विद अस टू आंसर सम ऑफ योर क्वेश्चंस एंड सॉर्ट ऑफ give a gist of the uhv3 um that we have been doing for the last few months ganesh ji also will be joining today for the same um till he is available if there are any questions or um sharing um we can take that now yesterday we were not able to answer all the questions or not get to all the raised hands due to a limitation of time so perhaps we could do that today if you have any questions or any sharing we can take it now uh, namaste ji ji uh, namaste to all my co explorers नमस्ते सुनील भैया दीदी माय क्वेश्चन इज एक्चुअली वी नो दैट सेल्फ इज को एग्जिस्टेंस विद द बॉडी कैन वी से बॉडी इज को एग्जिस्टेंस विद द सेल्फ और सेल्फ इज को एग्जिस्टेंस विद द बॉडी आई थिंक सेल्फ इज को एग्जिस्टेंस विद द बॉडी और इधर वे वी कैन से दीदी यस इधर वे वी कैन से इनफैक्ट इफ वी लुक एट ऑल द यूनिट्स ऑल द यूनिट्स आर को एग्जिस्टिंग इन स्पेस so um whether you say self is coexisting or body is coexisting with self um it's the same thing only thing is we must be aware that you know what is central to us you know who between the body and the self what is more significant or who is the one taking charge so uh, is uh, some distinct from the body that uh, is space what we are uh, saying am i correct this what is that self is distinct from the way uh, i am my self is uh, there is a distance between the self and the body also mm -hmm. yes that is what is being said yeah, yeah. Uh, so that is we can say that is space yeah like uh, yesterday what you heard um, what ganesh ji was mentioning yesterday so space you know um, ultimately when we are at the um, activity of realization we will have the capacity to directly see the space but until we can get to seeing it yeah we even though we have the potential we may not have the ability right now to see it directly but we can start by working on this being able to try to see that there is a distance between the self and the body yeah. then we can we can also say that you know this in this distance because space is not just the distance between the self and the body space is there inside the self also inside the body also outside also everywhere isn't it yes but yeah yeah to start with to try to understand it we are looking at it from that perspective like kanish ji was mentioning yesterday we start with this you know we we tend to look at the units only we ignore the gap between yes. the unit no so if we look at the trees we look at only the trees the human being the dog the cat the animals whatever else but we don't really pay attention to what is in between these units so to try to draw attention to that the first thing we may see it as is the gap between the units then when we see the distance between the two units we we 
can sort of see that you know space is there and then later as we develop the capacity the ability to be able to see more and more and more subtle things till you know when we get to the activity of realization and we can see the subtlest um you know reality the space then we can directly see it but till then yes we can approach it like that yeah the space we mean the connectivity between the various units uh, can we take it like this ji uh, uh, ganesh ji is here i think uh, we can um yeah ask him to take the you continue yes you continue yes please ah okay. so um you know space we said is a reality and in this reality there are uh, by virtue of just the units being in this reality we said that the units are energized they are self organized and they have a relationship with one another and they recognize this relationship and fulfill this relationship so all these characteristics are there by virtue of the units being in space so this is how i would put it yeah uh, 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 just i would uh, uh, i would like to have a small clarification this space we can take it as it is connectivity among all the units in this nature can we take it like this or we not? can say that i would say but that would be a very small limited approach to looking at space the vastness or the the magnitude of space as such um you know we are limiting it only to a connection between the units again we are looking at it more with the prominence of the units but i would say that the whole basis the foundation you can say is space oh yes 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 mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh, my uh, shall i ask uh, or uh... um yeah ganesh ji aap lenge uh, questions further ji namaste next day uh am i audible now ji you are audible yeah uh, just uh, my uh, doubt is uh, uh, the uh, cell is so potential so powerful uh, it can uh, give the instructions and it can utilize the body and all this to my question is uh, the powerfulness of the cell for once it uh, leaves the body is it uh, as it is or something else Bo is depend body also that's my question okay let me respond to the first question uh, you know in in continuation with what uh, Chandra ji was telling. <clears throat> See, there are three things that we talked about yesterday. You know about space. Number yes. one, when I am looking at space as a distance between two units or gap between two units, are we seeing it as something which is an absence or something which is in presence whether we are looking at it as negation of units or assertion of a reality which is not an activity uh, yeah assertion of reality which is not an activity so we yeah. can see it yeah so this is important because <clears throat> if you look at you know the way we look uh, we see space today is we are looking at it as an absence yeah when you yes. see it as an absence you will not pay attention to it you will not try yes. to understand it because it is just an absence 
a negation yeah. yeah not a position not a presence so first important thing we are saying is that this gap this distance is not just the absence it is a reality and it is a presence and we can try to understand it so this yes, is one one thing yes yeah. again we are saying that <clears throat> when we start looking at things you know with this contemplation that things in nature are related to each other yeah they are not unrelated so one unit another unit they are related to each other and we can also see that there is this space in between right so now you can see that there are three realities unit 1 unit 2 and the space in between if we look at it this way then we can see that space is a reality in which one unit is related to another unit so the effect of sun is reaching to the earth right yes yes but that we can see that means now i can see the space as the basis of relationship between two units and not just as an absence then we said if you look at the earth by itself you can see that the earth is in a space and it is self organized in a space right similarly the sun is in a space and it is self organized in a space so we have a space and we have this unit in a space and this unit are self organized in a space so this is the yes. conclusion we can draw about the space that is space is the basis of self organization of an unit so these three observations we made which is in continuation with accepting the space as a reality and trying to study it and each one of us can do this study Yes, so when we are able to see this much, then those three things which Samila you were just mentioning, we can start observing that any unit. When you see now, you see that that unit is in space. You can also see that this unit is an activity in space. So it is energized in space. and we said we can personally verify it when we observe the self the body the interaction between the two we can see that the activity of the self is not dependent on the body whether i am interacting with the body or not interacting with the body right i am active so i am in space and i am an activity in space right independent of the activity in the body that means this is you know something which we can see that i am an activity in a space so i am energized in a space then i can see that i am existing as an unit in a space whether i am interacting with the body or not interacting with the body so i am self organized in a space as an unit of self consciousness and third i can see that by being in a space right i can observe the body which is also in a space and i am related to this body through space 
So these three things are happening. I am energized in space. I am an activity in space. I am self-organized in space, and I am interacting with the body in space, or related to the body in space. And these three together is what is called as submerged. So I am submerged in space. This is something which I can see for myself directly. But yes, first yes. step is to realize or to see that space is there as a reality and it is not just an absence. Yeah. Yeah. Is it making sense? Yeah, it does mean uh, uh, either with the body or irrespective of body, uh, space, uh, self is uh, going to continue in its activity. Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is continuing in its activity even now. See, when I yeah, yeah. associated yeah, with a body, irrespective of it. Yeah, yeah. When I am associated with the body, I am still an activity in a space, and my activities are going on in a space, in regard of whether I am interacting with a, or associated with the body or not associated with the body. So if I can see this right now, when I am associated with the body, and if I can see that my activity does not depend on the activity of the body or my association with the body, my yeah. transaction with the body, yes. then I can see that if the body is not there, I am not associated with the body, then only my then also my activity will go on in space. Yes, yes. But that has to be realized right now when I am associated with the body. Yes, yes. Most of the times, uh, the worry is, uh, 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 since from the long, yeah, if we leave this body, everything gone up like that. No. Repeat, please. What did you say? Most of the times, uh, 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 generally, the feeling is, if we leave this uh, body, then uh, uh, we don't know what happened to the self and what uh, uh, everything is uh, uh, just because the association with the, all the units. Uh, if we uh, if in this body, uh, uh, self is in this body till then uh, that uh, association may uh, be uh, continuously there or uh, something is uh, disconnectivity is there. Let me, um, I mean, go a little slow. Okay. Yeah. If you look at yourself, presently you are going with the assumption that you are the body. Yeah. Okay. Most of us. Huh? Yes. Therefore, we think that if the body is not there, we are not there. Yes. Yes. So all the effort that we are making in exercise one and exercise two is to be able to see that self is there, right? Yes. The body is there. There are activities going on in the self. Yes. In regard of whether the self is interacting with the body or not interacting with the body. Ah, yes, sir. Are we able to see this? Yeah, yes, yeah. So when we were working in exercise one, we did not refer to the body at all. We are directly observing the self by the self. Yes, yes, sir. This is important to see that in regard of whether I am interacting with the body or not interacting with the body, right? I am there. As a self, I am there. Then we came to exercise two, 
<coughs> and then we started observing the body the self the transaction of the self with the body so in exercise 1 we were not paying attention to the body at all we were paying attention to our own self directly yes and that existence of the self was there in exercise 2 we are observing the interaction my interaction with the body and i can see that i interact with the body as and when i feel it important if i don't feel that this interaction is important i don't interact and in regard of whether i am interacting with the body or not my activities are going on yes so even now when i am associated with the body i am not transacting with the body all the time yes yes and when i am not transacting with the body it is immaterial whether the body is there or not there yeah can you see this yes sir yes even when i am associated with this body this choice is always there whether to transact or not transact yes and when i am not transacting with the body it is immaterial whether the body is there or not there yes can i see this yeah yes and if i can see this then i can conclude that when i am not associated with the body or the body is not there it has disintegrated even then my activity will continue Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, the uh, thing is, uh, the temporary uh, uh, interaction with the all the physical units are with the suppose uh, self with the other self. Uh, we will uh, first of all we will look into the other self means uh, first uh, through body only we will uh, uh, recognize. Uh, so then. Uh, 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 social life, family life, all interactions. Uh, first of all, first initiation is uh, through body only. Of course, we need to see self, but uh, whatever expressions and everything is through body. All these uh, uh, interactions are all these connectivities. Uh, uh, self can interact with other self for uh, through body only. Yeah, my uh, correct uh, because these interactions will, uh, uh, of course, temporary. So they will uh, also they leaves this body that will be gone. Uh, I think no, that is okay. You are mixing up too many questions together. One question is whether my activity yeah. will continue or I will continue as a self or not when I am not associated with the body. This is one question. Okay. Yeah, that is understood. Uh, activities will be continued. Self. Yeah. So I have responded to that question. Okay. Yes, yes. So yeah. let us make that first clear. Because uh, if we yeah, make too many questions, then it will become very difficult to see things. Yeah, so yeah. This, this is question number one, which we have responded. Now, second yeah, question is. Okay. is that will i be able to interact with other units yeah yeah yes yeah. so this is another question okay let's not mix up too many questions together yes 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 ma'am yes and third question is that when i am interacting with the other will i be able to express uh, yeah yeah right yes yes ma'am and fourth question is that if i am expressing then will the other be able to see yes so these are too many questions getting mixed up yes lady because a uh, little bit lack of clarity i have mixed it up 
So now yes. I go to get uh, clarity. The first question we have responded. Now the second yes. question is that when I am interact, when I am not associated with the body, will there be an interaction? Yes, yes. The answer is yes. Okay. So when I am associated with the body, I am interacting or expressing through the body. Yes, yes. Right. Yeah. But if I observe with more subtlety, I can see that I am interacting with the other through the body and I am also interacting with the other directly at the level of self. Yes. Okay. Now this interaction with this self, other self through the body, you know, space and not through the body is something that we have to develop the capacity to see. Yeah, yes. So yes. I can see both this transaction, one transaction taking place through the body. So I am giving some instruction to the body, there is some, you know, expression in the level of body and that reaches to the other at the level of body and then he is able to interpret. That will not happen if the body is not there. Yeah. But my interaction with the other self at that subtle level of the self directly, that will still continue. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So the answer is that when the body is not there, still there is an interaction between the self and the self. But this interaction is subtle. Right? And yeah, yeah. this is not expressed through the body. So if the body is not there, it will not be expressed through the body. And if it is not expressed through the body, yes. somebody else who is accustomed to see only through the body, he will not be able to see it. So this is the answer to yeah. these four different questions. Yes. yes. Now I could get the lot of class. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. But in order I to get answer to this, all these four questions, what is important is to be able to see that <laughs> while I am associated with the body, my activities are going on in regard of whether I am interacting with the body or not interacting with the body. Yeah, that is most important. Yes. 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 Yeah. Thank you very much, Maya. Thank you. Vineji is also there. Vineji has some questions. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Uh, actually, my question is, uh, when we say that uh, there is a realization in of coexistence in me, what would be the expression in terms of feelings, thoughts and behavior in me? That we have discussed quite in detail, I think, with the major content of uh, UHV3 is essentially this, that when we have the realization of coexistence in the self, then at the level of understanding, we will be able to understand the self-organization of the units, one unit, you know, another unit, and all the units in nature. Then we'll be able to understand the relationship of one unit with another unit. So these three things will have the right understanding, which means realization of coexistence, understanding of the self-organization, the harmony, and contemplation of relationship. These three things will happen at the level of higher activity of the self. And if this is there, 
then all my desire, thought, and expectation, that is my imagination, will be founded or based on this understanding of coexistence, understanding and acceptance of coexistence, harmony, and relationship. So with this, there will be harmony in the self at all the levels of activity. And therefore, we will be in a state of bliss and satisfaction and peace and happiness, or there will be continuity of happiness in the self. So this is one thing that will happen. Then this understanding at the level of B1 and this imagination, which is going on on the basis of this understanding of coexistence, harmony, and relationship at the level of B2, the imagination, will express itself in terms of the behavior of mutual fulfillment with human beings. And this is what we are calling it justice. It will express in terms of work or, with, or mutually fulfilling work with the rest of nature. And ultimately, it will lead to participation in the larger order from family to world family. So this is what will happen. And the outcome of it ultimately would be in terms of the undivided society and universal human order, which will lead to human tradition. So all this will happen. And that is what is the core content of USB 3, in fact, isn't it? So your question, you know, calls for explaining this whole thing that we have been trying to do in USB 3. Next, next slide. Next slide. Oh, Next slide, can we show? Next. The whole thing which shows right up to the hum, you know, human tradition. Yeah, it's just before this. Yes. So this is what will happen. Yes, you are saying something. Uh, uh... Right now, whatever I am doing, whatever uh, I am participating, uh, I am not able to really see whether I have understood coexistence or not, whether I have realized the coexistence or not. That little, uh, I am not able to understand that. Yeah, that doubt will remain certainly because if you are not able to see the space, and if you are not able to see that every unit is submerged in space, right? And by virtue of this mm -hmm. submergence, right, you are energized in space, you are self organized in space, and you are related to every unit in space. Unless you are able to see this, you have not realized the coexistence. What you are doing now, and which is very important, I would say, is that you are able to see that there is a relationship. Hmm. Right? So you have a feel hmm. of it. So somewhere you are able to work at the level of contemplation. Okay. Hmm. So you are able to see that there is a relationship. Before that, you were, you know, sometimes thinking that there is opposition or most of the time thinking that there is opposition. Sometime you are thinking that there is relationship. Now you are able to get a feel mm -hmm. that by virtue of the design of this existence, there is relationship. And this shift is important. <clears throat> right? Mm -hmm. This shift is important because this contemplation or this acceptance that this relationship is guiding my feeling, my desire. 
So if I can see that there is relationship and accept that there is relationship, then my feeling will be that of relationship. And that makes all the difference because that will be source of my happiness. When I was not able to see this relationship thing, and I was, you know, having a doubt whether there is a relationship or opposition. So I had sometimes the feeling of relationship, and most of the time I have the feeling of opposition. Right? And that was causing unhappiness in me. So this is one thing has happened, that you are getting the glimpse of this fact that there is relationship in existence by its very design. Then you are also getting some glimpse at the level of understanding that there is harmony in units or there is self-organization in unit. Right. So this nature, this, you know, uh, units are self-organized. They are in harmony and not in contradiction. So when you have this glimpse of the fact that there is self-organization in the units, there is harmony in the you know, units in the nature, then this is also very comforting, very comforting, you know, com making you very comfortable. Because now your feeling, your desire is guided by this harmony, not contradiction. The self-organization. <clears throat> so that is also making you you know, have kind of comfortable with yourself or in harmony or in happiness. So this is broadly that is happening now. And I would say that this also is very significant, very important. That before you were full of contradictions and full of opposition. So full of contradiction in yourself, full of opposition in relation to others. Now, at least you are able to see that, you know, things are self-organized. I can also get self-organized. Right? By design, I am to be in harmony and not in contradiction. And I have to be in relationship with the other and not in opposition with the other. This is what is happening, I would say, in some, uh, you know, kind of degree or the other. And this itself is a big, way, big, you know, the journey which we have traveled. Now this will become more and more intense if we make continuous efforts for, you know, self-development. Then it will become more intense, more intense. And as I said in response to the first question that when I am able to see in myself that there is relationship and there is self-organization, then I start observing or feeling or seeing the importance of space, right? Because these units are in space and they are related to each other. So I am able to see the importance of space as the basis of relationship. Because now I can see the relationship. Similarly, when I'm able to see the self-organization or the harmony of the unit, and I can see that they are in a space, then I can also see the space as the basis of the self-organization, basis of the harmony in the units. So slowly my understanding of the space is you know, deepening. So when I was only interacting with the world outside at the level of body, I used to see this space as an absence. When I started working at the level of self and started seeing my interaction with the body, I could at least see that space is not something which is an absence. Right? It is a presence between me and the body. And when I started working at the level of contemplation, I started seeing that space is something which is the basis of relationship, because now I can see relationship. And if I work further and see the self-organization in the unit, 
I can see that the self-organization of the unit is taking place in coexistence in a space. So the space is the basis for the self-organization, the harmony. And now if I go move higher to the level of <coughs> realization, the level of pure observer, then I can see the space directly. I can see that the space is there as a reality, uh, all pervading reality. And the units are in space. And these units are, you know, activities in space. They are self organized in space. They are related to other units in space. So when I'm able to see this, then I realize this coexistence. Then I have really understood the, understood the coexistence. Till then, our major achievement is in terms of being able to see that there is relationship and there is harmony, there is self-organization. But this itself is very important, very significant. And this is the reason why instead of you know keeping just coexistence, we are keeping all three of them, coexistence, harmony, and relationship. From the top, when you see, you have realization of coexistence leading to understanding of harmony, leading to contemplation of relationship. But when you go to do it practically, you start with you know, contemplation of relationship, then move to understanding of harmony, and finally move to realization of coexistence. So you have to go from bottom to top, and from, then come from top to bottom. But we have described this top to bottom because in order to understand the process of going from down to up, right, from bottom to top, can be understood only when we understand what is happening from top to bottom. So we are moving from bottom to top, from the lowest activity of the self to the highest activity of the self. And when we are working on it, we are somewhere, you know, working at the level of contemplation and understanding. So, is it making sense? Yes, sir. Yes. Namaste, Namaste, Sir Milanji. Namaste, Ganesh Sir. Namaste. Mm, it is regarding understanding the space uh, as the only source of energy. And how far it is uh, correct to say that? Now, this why do you say only source? See, this is our, you know. Extremism, you know, is there somewhere in our sanskars. When you say only, now you have the burden of to prove that there is no other source. Why do you want to take this burden? Yeah, yeah. We have understood that. Uh, suppose we see the, our living, we depend on the uh, trees and trees they depend upon sun ray and sun where from get the uh, the energy it is from the space so we have understood like that so in that relation i accept the question yeah yeah 
uh, issue is that there are two broad sources right, of energy. One is relative, the other is absolute. Okay. Yes, the space is an absolute source of energy. Yeah, yeah. What is the other? The other units are the source of relative energy. Uh -huh. So that is the state of affair. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, most of us are looking at the level of expression, right? At the level of unit. Therefore, we are mostly seeing the relative energy and the effect of relative energy on one unit and the other unit. What we are saying is that we need to understand both. Yes. We need to understand the relative energy, which is basically seen as the effect of one unit on the other unit. And the other is this absolute un un energy, which is not the effect of another unit. Just by virtue of being in space, the unit is energized. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, I couldn't understand this uh, relative energy. Please. Uh... Give some light. Related energy means energy which can be less or more. Yes. How it changes? Now, for example, if you are sitting in front of a fire, right, that heat yes. that is coming to your body can be less or more. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? Yes. And for example, the heat of the sun is less during winter and more during summer. Yeah, yeah. That is the meaning of relative. Yeah, yeah. It can be less or more. Yes, but in case of space? In case of space, the energy is always available to you. Whatever it is required is available. Uh -huh. And there is no notion of from space. There is a notion of in space. Mm -hmm. That also we should understand. When you see the sun, you know, and your body, the heat at the level of sun, right? Yes. Is getting, you know, transferred to heat at the level of body. Now this is, we are saying that heat that is, I am seeing at the level of body is basically the heat coming from the sun. Yeah. Okay. So it is reaching to the body and leaving from the sun. Okay. Yes, yes. But this is not happening in case of space. In case of space, there is no issue of from because the energy is not getting away from this, you know, space. It is in space and you are also in space and you are energized in space. So it is not the energy from space, but energy in space. Yeah. Because there is no isolation between the unit and the space. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to another unit, there is an isolation between the units. One unit and the other unit. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Is absolute energy. And what we are getting from another unit is relative energy. So these are two types of energy.
Yeah. And for us, both of them are important. And we need to understand both of them. Yes, sir. Namaste. Am I audible? Namaste. Yes. Yes, you are audible. Namaste, Ganeshji. Namaste. Um, uh, well, there are two questions, Ganeshji. One is we can identify presence of self by observing in uh, our self activities in self. Yes. But how do we how do we ensure presence or absence of self in other orders? That is first question. And then why we are saying that there is absence of will to live in plants? Um, yeah. Uh, so primarily these are questions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This we have discussed, you know, uh, G. Uh, right in uh, EHB 2. Yes. That if you look at the uh, human being, you can see it as coexistence of self and body. Yes. And when we observe this self and body, we can see that they have different kinds of need. And these needs are fulfilled differently. And similarly, they have different type of activities. Yes. And they can be understood, you know, separately. So regarding yes. activity, we said the self has activity like desire, thought, expectation. Right? Yes. And body has activity like breathing and digesting and things like that, right? <clears throat> and this activity of the self is continuous in time. You cannot stop it. But activity of the body is not continuous. It is temporary in time. And then the third important thing we said that if you look at the activity of the body, it has this recognition and fulfillment. Yes. Right. But if you look at the activity of the self, it has this activity of knowing, assuming, recognizing, and fulfilling. Yes. So these things can be the basis of trying self. to understand whether the self is there in an unit or not there in that unit. So these needs and these activities can be the basis of finding out whether there is self associated or not associated with it. Gee. So for example, I mean, we uh, have already stood, uh, I mean, uh, uh, studied about the self in the human being. If you look at the self in the animal, for example, a dog, right? If you look at the behavior of a dog, okay, that can be changed. Yes. So if you make it a pet dog, okay, yeah, then after some, yeah. yeah, after some time, its behavior will be different with you as compared to its behavior before and as compared to its behavior with others, strangers. Yes. This uh, means that this dog has started assuming something about you different from previously. its assumption about the other. Yes. So there is this role of assuming coming in. Yes. So on the basis of that, we can conclude or at least guess that there is yes. self associated with the dog. Yeah. Bhaiya, there are a lot of yeah. experiments. Sorry, sorry, Bhaiya, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. But this change is not visible in the behavior of a plant. Okay. Yeah. The only thing that is taking place is recognizing and fulfilling. Yeah. And most of the experiments which are conducted to show that there is life in the plant are 
the experiments which are conducted on the change of the response of the plant on the basis of recognizing and fulfilling okay that is important yeah. so this difference between life and the self or the consciousness is not very clear mm. in the modern science they are not yeah. able to see that there is a difference between the pranavastha the pranic order or the biological system and the animals order yes that difference is not very clear because this knowing and assuming thing is not clear to them mm. they are only able to see this recognizing and fulfilling so mm. most of the experiments that are conducted okay are conducted on the basis of this recognizing and fulfilling only and we see that that there is some kind of recognition then there is life if those kind of recognition is not there there is no life that is our conclusion mm -hmm. we are saying more than that yes for example music if you are playing music then the growth of plant is affected yes but that means you are creating a different physical condition correct and therefore the recognizing and fulfilling will be different mm. but this difference is not because of the assuming mm. yes this dog even if you beat the dog or hit the dog the dog will keep you know coming uh, back yeah yes but that will not happen with the tree yes if you do not create favorable physical conditions the tree will not you know continue to express differently or they respond differently mm. yes thank you bhaiya one of my friend is working uh, with a spain scientist and they are trying to see that there is learning by associativity happening in the plant and in one of the experiments it's like um, the plant tries to uh, get a support so previously it used to uh, move in a circle but now it poles between 180 degrees where the support is there mm. so there is some kind of uh, you know uh, since i mean i understood uh, and the importance of assumption and assuming and uh, in the consciousness the activity so um, uh, some kind of learning by associativity is seen but of course it, this is uh, in preliminary stage um so uh, so i understood uh, i mean i uh, understood uh, uh, got the clarity that even we see the presence of self by the activities of self only uh, there was some sometimes in literature there is a mention on uh, presence of self based on structure of the uh, physical unit like brain like structure or something but uh, somewhere i feel inside or uh, that if we uh, keep the presence of self based on the structure of the physicality then again we are giving importance or uh, priority to the physicality so our primary argument is or uh, yeah is we are uh, basing the presence of self on the knowing part of it uh, right bhaiya i mean just to get this clarity no just last yeah formulate your question last 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 question yeah sometimes the argument is made that the presence or absence of self can be determined by the uh, physical complexity like complexity of a structure like brain so because animals or humans have brain like structures we can say that we have self but yeah. 
i feel that i mean somewhere when i see inside like whether this argument is then again we are giving a uh, priority to the physicality like the western yes. Yes. scientists say that uh, consciousness is a evolved property of matter yes. and then if we say that consciousness is based on the brain like structure then again we are making similar argument yes so so um, the argument what you said the explanation like uh, the it is based on the activity of self itself and yes. that activity is of knowing yeah. uh, that is very in uh, coherent logic or even logically coherent yeah in some sense yeah in fact this is so, very interesting you know uh, yes. the core issue if you look at the uh, different philosophies or different you uh, know way of looking at things Uh, there are three basic uh, approaches which have been taken okay, in the whole of history. One is that there is material world, and this world of consciousness is emerging out of the material complexity or evolution of the material. Yes. There is another uh, approach. which said that basically this world is founded on this consciousness and the expression of consciousness is taking place in terms of material or at the level of material the third is that both oh, yeah, this me- sorry i lost the range so i missed the second one second one is all is consciousness and material is evolving and manifesting consciousness is consciousness is expressed of... through material material okay okay yes thank you bhaiya third is that both of them are there the world of material is there the world of consciousness is there one is gross the other is subtle and we can understand both of them hmm. right in coexistence yes right and of course there is a space in between yes so we can understand these three things the material world the consciousness world and the space in between or space at the base of both material and the consciousness yes now what really needs to be done i mean as i uh, can feel is that we should take all these three assumptions to begin with or three approaches and try to make the study hmm. and then make conclusion on the basis of that approach yes and then tally it with the reality the existential reality yes. that is what is needed really if we want to conduct the experiment we hmm. need to do this vast experiment take these three approaches approach one that there is world is only material and complexity is leading to consciousness approach two that basically the consciousness is there and the consciousness in the order to express itself is taking the form of material and third there is this consciousness world and material world you know both coexisting together and it is an issue of complexity in issue of uh, subtlety the material is gross the consciousness is subtle but both of them are units activity they can be understood and they are both in space now these three approaches should be you know accepted as a base thing mm and then any experiment which is carried out or any reality which is observed has to be explained on the basis of these three mm. and then we should tally which one is able to explain the best yeah. yes <laughs> okay ji ji that will be a real experiment ganesh uh, time ho gaya hai for the hindi session so agar hindi mein baat karenge to better hoga तो हम लोग हिंदी में बात कर लेते हैं इसी को क्या मुश्किल है <laughs> <laughs> बात तो वही है ठीक है कि नहीं अमोल जी 
जी जी भैया जी भैया इस लेवल का एक्सपेरिमेंट आप कैरी आउट करने की जरूरत है बिल्कुल बिल्कुल भैया जी और आप उसको कर सकते हैं <laughs> आप या आपके मित्र जी जी तभी ठीक से बात हो पाएगी नहीं तो क्या है ये अलग अलग अप्रोच के जो लोग हैं ना जी भैया तो आपस में लड़ते ही रहते हैं हाँ बिल्कुल तो निष्कर्ष तो, कुछ निकल नहीं पाता उससे जी ये तो खुले हैं टॉपिक है? हम बात करके देखते हैं उनके साथ वो काफी खुले हैं और वो मतलब ये प्लांट्स के साथ एक्सपेरिमेंट कर रहे हैं मगर बेसिकली uh, फिलोसॉफी की डिपार्टमेंट रखते हैं और <laughs> तो हम आ, और वो पॉसिबल है वहां पे तो वो काफी अच्छी बात है तो मैं उनको उनके साथ ये बात करके चला के देखता हूँ मतलब बिल्कुल बिल्कुल देखिए ये अच्छी बात है कि वो दर्शन के व्यक्ति हैं जी <laughs> क्योंकि जी। हम लोगों ने ये देखा कि व्यवहार कार्य को समझने के लिए विचार को समझना जरूरी है विचार को समझने के लिए दर्शन को समझना जरूरी है बिल्कुल ठीक है ना ये तीनों इतना इंट्रिकेटली रिलेटेड हैं कि इन तीनों में से किसी एक को अलग करके देखने जाएंगे तो उलझ जाएंगे <laughs> जी भाई <laughs> इसीलिए मैंने पहले तीनों अप्रोच में दर्शन को रखा कि तीनों के दर्शन अलग अलग हैं दृष्टि अलग अलग है उससे विचार अलग निकल रहे हैं उससे व्यवहार अलग निकल रहा है कार्य अलग निकल रहा है ठीक है ना तो अब तीनों को लेकर देख लें और किसमें सबसे ज्यादा रियलिटी अच्छे से एक्सप्लेन हो रही है वही ठीक मान लें और क्या करेंगे भी? <laughs> जी बिल्कुल जी धन्यवाद भैया नमस्ते धन्यवाद नमस्ते